Hey everybody, this is Jimmy on the mountain, standing by the great mysterious serpent wall made by ancient people in ancient times. It's a windy, powerful day. The trees are speaking in the language of the wind. And this video is a shout out to Ricky, who enjoys watching my videos, and I think he might enjoy this. That's another star stone. There's one up there on top of the ridge. And if you look through that niche, you could probably see the horizon if you cut those trees down. Well, I know you could. There's another triangle or pyramid right there. And in there, there's a big hollow where there were a whole lot of shaman stones found with mammoths and carvings of creatures on them. And they looked very old. But I pulled these leaves out yesterday and found this structure here. And this carved out stone that's placed in there, wedged in. And you can see through the niche in the wall. And on the other side, this is a natural outcrop here. It goes east-west instead of north-south. There's another one there. So this is a squared in area with an open end. And if this tree weren't here, you could see it. And that's the chamber I found all those stones in. And there's a big granite piece that's all carved out that went right here. Granite. That I pulled off and I can replace. And there's still a bunch of stones in there I haven't touched. There's hollows all in this wall, everywhere. And I think the stones were in there. I think this was probably a place where... I like to think it was a place where people sat and talked about the stones and the images on them. It's just a natural area. This tree pushed up a bunch of stones. There was a campsite here or something built. Some other big stones. The wall continues up. Another campsite of some sort. A circle of stones, maybe fire. It all sits on ledge so it doesn't sink. It's all ledge. These trees are growing right on rock. They'll fall right down. These giant maples. Stones down here. Looks like they might have come down from the wall, but who knows? The wall continues on up there, and there's the caveman. I like to think of him as the caveman. This is what changed my perception of the walls. This stone right here. This upside down triangle pyramid. And that looks like the bottom of a foot to me. And that looks like a leg with a foot going that way. It's like some guy climbing over the wall. That's what it looked like to me. And I mean, look how that was placed in there. These are two stones. And they go in there very long. There's a chamber in there. There's another big chamber in there. And there's a placed stone in there. Very particular shaped stone. Um, it's crazy, it sits right on the ledge. There's some really large boulders up on top with carvings on the other sides. Um, you can see the east side of the mountain down there. You can actually see the sun through the trees. And if all those trees were gone, you'd have a nice horizon line, just as you do on the west over there. So this ridge sees both horizons, which is kind of cool. I think that's why they built it here. And it sits on ledge that has quartz in it. It's real old, old looking. Lots of quartz. Like this piece built in here. This little platform here. This huge piece. Look at that. How well it was built. Built to last. All hollow built, no mortar. This 
stone circle on top. And if I come down here, this is a natural walkway. The steps go up, big white stone. Step. That's a natural walkway. As you can see, the triangle, another one. Very cool, huh? Um, I'm on top of the ridge now, looking at the wall. And this is the caveman part. You can see tunnels going through it. There's a lot of sediment growing up. And if I pulled the sediment out, all these leaves, you'd find chambers going down all the way to the uh, bedrock. It's all hollow built. Um, it's crazy. And if you continue down, the wall goes off of my property down there. And there's a pile of stones down here that's pretty interesting. I always thought the wall continues down. Big pile of stones. I haven't explored too much on that side, but what I could find in there, I don't know. Because when you come over here, we're walking east. Through the woods. Where that blue tarp is. That's a red ochre mound. And the east side of this hill, with those trees gone, you could see the horizon and for miles. Um, There's a lot of uh, broken rock here. There's the breaching whale stone. It's a huge megalith stone that comes out of the ground like that, like a breaching whale or a turtle's head. Um, that's what I get out of it. I mean, it can be anything. It could be natural stone, but the one up there which is pointed and all carved and it sits on another three-sided stone lines up with spots on the serpent wall right there see the hole in the serpent wall those are alignments so you have astronomical alignments built into these stones you have uh, earthworks this is part of the, that mound. There's a trench behind this one. It's an animal hole. There's the trench. The mound goes up here. Now we're on top of the mound. Some of the stones that came out of the surface area. And if you look east, you will see the sun rising every day, every morning. There's a quarry up there, breaching whale. Over here, I like to call it, well, the maple tree site. <laughs> this tree just pushed up all of this stuff everywhere. Um, I found some pretty cool stuff in here. There's a lot of pieces and flakes and interesting stuff everywhere. Um, under my feet it's lined with white quartz. It goes all the way up there and you can actually see it. 
little trail of white quartz. Going up to this earthwork and this stone, which, if you look west, you'll see the serpent wall.